Earthwatch is an environmental charity with science at its heart. We monitor the health of our natural resources, we connect people to the environment and we inspire people to take positive action for the planet. In this video, you'll hear about one of our projects. You'll get to meet some of the team, hear about their background and what they do now and hopefully inspire you to want to work for an environmental organisation in the future. One of the projects we're working on at the moment is called Tiny Forest. The aim of the project is to bring benefits of native woodland right into the heart of our cities and urban spaces. Tiny Forest is an example of a nature-based solution which involves studying and working with nature to help address environmental and social benefits, providing benefits to both people and nature. So I'm a research assistant at the Tiny Forest Project and I'm part of the science policy and innovations team. I always felt very passionately about the climate crisis and wanting to do something for it. So I went down that route and I studied ecology for my master's. It led me to this point basically. Probably the most important skill that I use at the moment is like skills in communication. So that can be around science communication, but also just like connecting with people. My work is basically to get the local people and the community to enjoy the forest. So I try to you know, give them ways of how they can connect with nature, connect with trees and the wildlife around them, and just keep coming back to use this very good quality natural space that they have got. So I started my career as a molecular biotechnologist. Uh, I found that it wasn't my calling. So I decided to switch over and I worked in a human rights uh, charity for a few years. And uh, after that, I actually joined a wildlife rehabilitation center. You don't have to know what you want to get into right away. So I took a really long, windy road. So you don't have to have everything figured out. You can still try a few things. Uh, just get into a field that you're passionate about and keep going with it. I'd say that think about what you love to do every single day. So is that being outside? Are you more of an indoor person? Do you like working with people on the phone? Or do you like more keeping to yourselves and doing work online and on your computer? Thinking about what you enjoy and then matching that with what you care about, what your passion is, can lead you into a really interesting career. The environmental sector is so broad, you can have things from communication to management to research and thinking about what those jobs are actually on a day-to-day -day basis will help you inform what you actually you know, want to do with your career. So I actually started as a temp because uh, I just needed something to do in between studying and um, I, I found I was quite good at the job I was doing and I enjoyed it so I ended up uh, getting a contract here for longer. I'm a project manager and I support the Tiny Forest project by basically once we know who the funders are and once we know who the landowners are then the project lands with me and then I work with everybody involved basically to go and do the land preparation, organise landscapers and all of that sort of stuff. So basically the kind of logistics of getting the Tiny Forest in the ground and getting the community engaged and organising the planting events and things like that. So I did a degree in English and then I worked in IT for like six years after that. But we mainly worked with sort of environmental and heritage organisations, which kind of made me realise that actually working to help environmental organisations wasn't quite enough to achieve what I really wanted to achieve. Um, so decided to kind of switch careers. I think give yourself time. It's not always the easiest thing to do, thinking about what it is that you love and what it is that makes you happy, um, pursuing that. I would say don't give up, you're not going to get there first time, it takes a long time and to help with that I would say volunteering, so I did lots of volunteering um, with local organisations, especially environmental, there's lots of opportunities out there so it gets your foot in the door. I worked at Oxfam for seven years which is a charity focused on kind of humanitarian causes but I realised that um, after a while there, my passions were more suited towards environmental purpose. So after leaving there, I decided to seek out various positions um, and Earthwatch is where I landed and it's been fantastic. If you don't know what you want to do in life at school, then that's fine because I didn't. And I've ended up working at places that have been really good for my work-life balance and my mental health. As you can see, there are loads of opportunities to work in the environmental sector. You don't have to decide now what it is, but think about the things that 
really interest you, the things that excite you. You might be a tree person, you might be a people person, you might be amazing at making videos. All of these are really valuable to the environment sector. If there's a tiny forest near you, go and check it out and find out how you can get involved. You could also talk to a teacher or a scout group leader and find out about environmental projects you can get involved with there. It just doesn't have to be science, it can be a whole range of opportunities.